Hey guys and warm welcome back to the channel. Making a quick breakfast before we head out on our little adventure today. We're going to go to the turtle pond and feed the turtles. We made a quick trip to the commissary to grab some kale first. And I'm sure everybody's aware but inflation has hit us here too. This kale was like six dollars. Alright so the turtle pond is in the golf course it's actually part of like one of the obstacles in the golf course and when I first heard about this which was on the wives page I expected you know maybe maybe a turtle or two or maybe they just called it a turtle pond and there were no turtles in it because weirder things have happened but we had checked it out previously before this little trip and I love it because I can just bike to it from the house. You'll see how short this little trip is here. Um, but yeah, there are tons, tons of turtles in it. So I'm really excited. I, I looked up a whole bunch of places online saying that kale was one of the, the things that they really enjoyed eating. And fortunately, our commissary actually had it. Uh, unlike zucchini and squash this week, I'm just not sure how we're supposed to be able to plan out meals when nothing is really available, but we're starting to get used to shopping off base too, and that's becoming more and more regular for us, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that's the little turtle pond. As you can see, it's part of the golf course. Uh, we're not allowed to really ride our bikes around through it, but we can ride them up to here because that's where like the main road goes. There's my cute little bag with its mushroom and my six dollar kale that the turtles hated. Y'all they hated the kale. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. Watch this guy. He'll come right up to me. He's so excited. Doesn't care. This one touches him. Doesn't care. This piece scares him. <laughs> I was so frustrated. I was so excited to feed these guys and they did not care about kale at all. And it was six dollars. They're so cute though and I was so disappointed so when I realized they just weren't going to eat it and I wasn't going to get the footage I wanted, we already knew we had to run out into town anyway, so we went and grabbed some turtle food while we were at the pet area in Makeman. Makeman is kind of like a Lowe's hardware, but it's got like a lots of home, home good stuff in it too. And this is... Uh, where it's located here in American Village. I don't think I have footage of the actual store, but American Village is super cute. It's a little kitschy, but I, I like that sort of thing. So we just take our bikes. Everything has a little bike parking spot. We decided to go ahead and grab lunch at this really cute restaurant. I had a cheeseburger with macaroni and cheese on it. Super American, but Honestly, one of the best burgers I've ever had, if I'm honest. This place was called Cherish the Sea. And here we are on our way back from lunch. I was really skeptical to ride around the city for a long time, but mostly that's just because I'm terrified of traffic. I don't like to drive in it or bike in it, but it's becoming a lot more enjoyable since I know, you know, how my bike feels and a little bit more about traffic rules and things like that. Uh, Cherish the Sea is right over on the other side of those nutcrackers, and this is done up like this 24-7. Just some fishies at Makeman. They also call this place the Monkey Store. I loved that guy. He's being medicated according to some of the signage on the tank. A little blue shrimp. And frogs. 
or toads. I'm actually not totally sure <laughs> if they're frogs or toads, but I'm going to learn more about them because I might have to get one. So here we are back at the turtle pond with some food. I asked the guy at the store what he thought would be best, and then I looked up like the Japanese translations and stuff, and the stuff was great for wild tortoises too, so I felt confident. And they just ate it right up. They absolutely loved it, so I'm guessing that's more what they're used to. Even the fish were really excited. They're definitely used to being around people though. They'll walk right up to you. I got some awesome pictures. This is actually the first time I'm using my Instax. It didn't turn out all that great. Everything was really overexposed, but I think I'm figuring it out after about my first roll or so. My wonderful husband is filming for me. It was such a beautifully overcast day. the kale they wouldn't eat. Well, that's okay. We chopped it up and put it in salad, but still, I was... I was a little sore about it. Especially considering the kibble that we bought was like $1.25. But it's whatever. This guy, the one with all the moss, he's my absolute favorite. So many turtles. I'm excited to go back, maybe start recognizing them a little bit. Apparently in the summertime it's really common for parents to want to take their kids and stuff. You do have to be careful though since it's right on the golf course. You know, you can get hit by golf balls if you're not careful. But yeah, we had a great time. Um, I took a cute picture with them and well David took a, cu a cute picture for me with them and then I got a, a picture of my favorite mossy boy we had a great time I hope you enjoyed